Hey, welcome back. In this video, I just want to introduce the concept of mechanical power. Um, it is just the work done by a force over the time taken to do the work. Uh, you'll formally hear it being defined as the time rate of doing work. Um, so it's just the rate of transfer of energy. And um, you'll see it written with variables. Uh, P for power is just equal to work over time. And if we think about the units for this, that is equal to joules per second, um, which is equal to watts. And uh, sometimes you might be asked to do these problems with horsepower. Uh, one horsepower is just equal to 746 watts. So let's just run over a simple example here. Let's say we have some kind of um, electric motor that's lifting a mass up three meters so with a constant velocity in a time of six seconds. So let's say its mass is 50 kilograms and let's find what the average power is required to make this happen. So we'll start with the conservation of mechanical energy equation, which is T1 plus V1 plus the sum of work from one to two is equal to T2 plus V2. So the capital T's are mechanical energy, the capital V's are potential energy, and U is the sum of work basically done between state one and state two. So we can go and expand this out a little bit. Let's write 1 half m v1 squared plus mgh plus the work is equal to 1 half m v2 squared plus mgh2. So right away we can cancel out the term for potential energy 1 because h1 is equal to 0. This is, maybe let's write it like this. Let's say this is equal to h1 whereas this is equal to h2. So h1 is a zero, it makes that whole term go to zero. And because velocity one is equal to velocity two, which is equal just to some generic uh, constant velocity, we can subtract one half mv squared from both sides, and those terms are actually going to drop out as well because of that. So this just leaves us simply with the work done from state one to two is equal to mgh2. And if we plug in the values that we have for that, it's 50 kilograms times 9.81 meters per second squared times h2 which is 3 meters and that all simplifies to the work being equal to 1471.5 joules so now if we plug this into our power equation where average power is equal to work done over the time taken to do the work then we can just write it as p average is equal to u over t and we just plug in what we have. So work is 1,471.5 joules over six seconds. And if we just do that, we find that we get a value of 245.25 joules per second, which is in units also of watts. So there you go. That's the average power required for this situation to happen. Basically for us to lift this, this mass in this duration, this distance at a constant velocity. Um, we can also just quickly convert it to horsepower in case you're asked to do that. So we can just quickly do that conversion. We have P average is equal to 245.25 watts times the ratio of one horsepower for 746 watts. The watts cancel out and that leaves us with horsepower, which is 0 0.33 horsepower.